Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an Acer Aspire. I'm gonna show you how to fix a keyboard key if it's broken or physically damaged or not working somehow. As a real quick note, if you're here to troubleshoot a key not working or multiple keys not working, maybe even your whole keyboard, if nothing is physically wrong with it, you're on the wrong video. There'll be a video link above, also below in the description, showing you how you can troubleshoot keys not working if they're physically, mechanically fine. This video, again, is if your key's not working somehow physically. So I'm gonna show you two things in this video. The first thing I'm gonna show you is if you wanna clean underneath your key, or let's say again, something's physically wrong with it. It's wobbling, it's pushing down hard, it's not popping up correctly, something's physically wrong with it. I'll show you how to take the key off safely, disassemble it, uh, then you can either clean under it or you can inspect it for damage. Uh, and the next thing I'll show you after that is how to put the key back on. If you found damage and you had to replace the key with a new one, or if you've cleaned under it or whatever the issue is, I'll show you how to then put the key back on safely and correctly. Okay, so grab a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better, um, or a small pry tool, as small as you can get because the larger it is, the more chances of breaking something there is. So grab your smallest one and I'll show you how to take the key off. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get my uh, flathead screwdriver underneath the key cap, this top part, but above the retainer clip, which is the inside mechanism that holds it down. So it's hard because you can't see under this. So I have to feel it out. Got to get in between those two components. I, d I do this a lot so I can feel it a little easier. So that popped off relatively easily. And as you can see, my flathead is holding down this black component here. That, that, that's my retainer clip. Um, they'll generally all look the same regardless of model. They'll be white or black. And they'll generally look like this. You'll have a little rubber bouncy thingy in the middle. You'll have a, uh, a two-part plastic retainer clip, and it will be held down by four metal clips toward the edges. They'll all, all basically look like this. They'll all be different shapes, so like one from one model won't fit into another model, but, but they'll all be laid out the same way. Side note, if you lose this, it's held on by glue. If that rips off, if you lose it, it it's kind of hard to duplicate that. I mean, you can put it in there and set it in there nice and gently, and, and it should stay. Um, but unless you're going to use some thin double-sided tape or glue, it's going to be hard to repair that if, if that rips, so be careful around that. Now to get this retainer clip up, I'm going to look for the plastic clips that are closest to the edge, in my case the top ones. See how they're closer to the edge than the bottom ones are? So those are the ones that I'm going to go after. Now there's not a lot of wiggle room, it's pretty tight in there, but I'm going to get what I can get. I'm going to push up a little bit on the retainer clip while I gently try to wedge the plastic out from under these metal clips. And this is where you're gonna break it if you do break it, so be careful. I'll show you, just push up, pop that out. Pop that one out. All right. So there's your retainer clip, and as you can see, I didn't break it. If I did, these wouldn't be like complete circles. Part of it w would be broken off. But luckily, I didn't break it. So this is the part you're gonna break. Now, don't be too freaked out if these parts come uh, unfastened from each other. Sometimes they do. It's, it's painstaking, but you gotta get them back together as long as it's not broken. I hated doing key repair when I first started computer repair. I would rather replace a motherboard than a key. Um, very easy to break, and I often did. So to get it back in there, we're gonna go in reverse. We just took it off top first. We're gonna put it in bottom first. So set this key in there, set it down nice and even, nice and symmetrical. Get these bottom metal clips in where they should be. And once you do, you should be able to just push on the top and snap it into place. Like that. So once that's in place, you put your key cap on, try to get it centered, and just push. And there you go. Okay, so that's the operation taking it off if you need to inspect it for damage or clean under it and then putting it back on if you have just replaced it with a new one or if you're installing it again to see if you can get it on right this time. Some of you, when taking off your hinge clip, will notice that it may come apart. It's actually a two-part clip. One part fits inside the other one. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but if you do accidentally knock those out from each other and it comes apart, you can get them put back together. It's not broken. I'll try to describe how to do that now. Okay guys, so there's your hinge clip or your retainer clip. It's a two-part clip. So if it comes apart, I'll show you how you can get it back together.
So as you can see here, this is the inner clip, there's the outer clip, and on either side of the inner clip you have these plastic pins, and they go into corresponding plastic holes on either side here. So you can get this back in there. The hard part is making sure that they're lined up correctly, that this isn't upside down. But you can put that piece back in here. You may have to hold one end and gently pull out the other end in order to make room. Uh, but again, very breakable components, but you can put them back together. All right, so that's the key repair video. Again, if your key is not physically damaged or if you're not looking to mechanically fix anything and you're just troubleshooting why it's not working, you're gonna want another video. That video troubleshooting keys will be below in the description. If you had any questions, check out the FAQs in the description below first. It could save you some time getting an answer. However, if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get back to those a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time.